A New Horizon 2020 project called ESFR Smart was launched in September 2017 to continue the conceptual development of the European Sodium Fast Reactor, a machine generating an electric power of 1,500 megawatts. In this reactor, the fission chain reaction is sustained by neutrons of high energy, allowing effective breeding of fissile material. Breeding and enhanced utilization of natural uranium are essential requirements for nuclear energy, which is considered as a key contributor of the sustainable energy supply of the future. The main goal of the ESFR Smart project is to introduce new safety measures and assess their performance, using all the positive features of the sodium-fast reactors, among which are low coolant pressure, efficiency of natural convection, possibility of decay heat removal by atmospheric air, high thermal inertia. All safety improvements are envisaged in tandem with a simplification of the ESFR design, developed in the EU in the past. The ESFR reactor core produces 3,600 megawatts of thermal power, which is removed by liquid sodium, circulating in the large primary pool by means of three mechanical pumps. Power is transferred through six intermediate heat exchangers to the secondary sodium loops, each of which has six steam generators. The produced steam drives the turbines, generating electricity. Control of the chain reaction is one of the key objectives of the reactor safety system. In ESFR, the control of the reactor power or shutdown are guaranteed by inserting neutron absorbing rods in the core. In addition, absorption rods of a special type are introduced in the design to ensure plant shutdown without any operator intervention. The actuation of these rods is based on passive principles. Should the coolant temperature at the core outlet exceed a certain value, namely the Curie point, the locks of these rods lose their magnetic properties and release the absorber rods. Thus, their insertion is driven only by variation of physical parameters. Undesired perturbations during reactor operation must not lead to an increase of reactor power. A refined design of the core allows improving the neutronic reactivity feedbacks in both nominal and accidental operation conditions. For the very low probability accidental scenarios in which all these safety measures fail and the core melts down, dedicated channels in the core are designed to facilitate core melt relocation towards a special structure called core catcher. The molten materials are localized and can be effectively cooled down. Confinement of radioactive isotopes is another key objective for safe operation. To avoid the primary sodium leakages and sodium air interactions, the design of the reactor pit and roof has been simplified and improved. In particular, the second vessel used in the former sodium fast reactor designs has been replaced by a metallic liner on the surface of the reactor pit. The reactor roof is designed as a solid and heavy metallic structure with a minimum number of penetrations. The leak tightness of these penetrations is given either by freezing seals or by temporary welding. All these measures allow to suppress the reactor dome above the roof, ensuring mitigation of a severe accident and improve the economics. Heat removal constitutes the third key objective of reactor safety. Even in shutdown conditions, the residual energy called decay heat releases due to the decay of radioactive nuclides. Dedicated decay heat removal systems designed for the ESFR aim to practically eliminate accidents of the Fukushima type. The main path of decay heat removal is the same as heat removal in normal operations, through intermediate heat exchangers and the secondary circuit to the feed water in steam generators. This path works under both forced and natural convection. To assist the natural convection of the secondary sodium, each loop is equipped with a passive electromagnetic pump. It's driven by thermoelectricity, generated by the temperature difference between the sodium and the environment. In case the feed water supply to steam generators should fail, the decay heat is removed from the surfaces of the modular steam generators by natural convection of atmospheric air through the inlet and outlet windows of the steam generator casings. In addition, six small secondary loops are dedicated to decay heat removal in accidental conditions when the main secondary loops are lost or drained. These small loops operate based on passive principles under natural convection of secondary sodium, assisted by thermal pumps, and by natural convection of atmospheric air, assisted by the tall air stack. Finally, an independent decay heat removal path through the reactor vessel is foreseen through cooling systems installed in the reactor pit and used during normal operation for cooling the concrete. This system allows also an effective heat removal from the core in case of severe accident management and mitigation of its consequences.
Having assessed the new safety measures proposed for ESFR, we aim to fulfill the goals set by the Generation 4 International Forum for future nuclear reactors, on one hand by controlling sensitive points, such as the core neutronic reactivity and the sodium chemical reactivity, and, on the other hand, by relying upon favourable characteristics of sodium fast reactors, such as the passivity facilitated by coolant efficiency, the grace and autonomy periods, and especially diversification of the safety systems.